Okay, so um, continuing with the bedroom, we are going to do this little uh, dresser right here, I think. This dresser and maybe this chest. We can, I'm pretty sure we can make the chest from the dresser, just make it a little taller or whatever. And then maybe add this little mirror right there. Or Actually, this mirror goes on top of here because it's the same uh, length right here, 51, basically 51 and a half inches, <clears throat> excuse me, um, 27 high and 21 in depth. Let's do that. So let's go to max. And we really don't need this right now. We're going to group this and call it the bed. Bed underscore group. All right, and hide it. And in my front view, this is 27 high. So 27 inches tall. All right, we'll be there, and then it's 51, 51 inches this way. Okay, and in depth, it is. 21. Okay, this one was 27, I think it was. I think that's what I typed. 27 inches. Yep. <clears throat> and then in depth, it is 21 inches. Alright. All right, so let's get to it. I'm gonna make a box here. All right, and width. Just going to make it about whatever it's supposed to be. Type it in here, 51 inches wide. All right. And why do I lay out my um my stuff? Well, I lay out tape measures just in case. <clears throat> All right. In that case, I probably didn't have to, but I'm kind of anal when it comes to. Uh, Portions and such. I'm going to take down all of these because we don't need this stuff. I'm going to convert this to an editable poly and um, just start to chamfer these edges just a little bit. And I'm going to ring select and loop that and chamfer those corners. Alright, now we have that. And now we have that right there, but I don't care, it won't be seen. <clears throat> Alright, when we look at what this actually looks like, these handles, it's a box with this little thing cut out. Fairly easy to make, I believe. Go to the front view, create another box here. Let me look at the pictures. Close this. It's pretty long right there. It's like half of one of those kind of seams, but I just wanted to see if I was going to make the entire um, the entire drawer. Oops, uh, all the way across, which I am. All right, I'm just going to see here. One, two, three, and then four won't fit. Just make it a little smaller. And something like that. And that'll work. Okay, so we have this. It 
M, add the gray to it. Alright. I have this gnat that's flying around me. I'm about to freak out. About to freak out on a gnat here while I'm modeling this dresser. I'm going to throw something at this dang thing. <clears throat> Alright. I ate like some peanut butter cookies a second ago, and I think it's uh, smelling it or something. I, I track gnats. That's that's what I do. I'm a gnat attractor. It's my stink or something. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Anyway. All right. Now that the gnat has totally made me lose my concentration, I'm gonna right-click this, convert it to an editable poly. Select those. Do a connect of two. And you know, I'm going to leave it just like that on the default. I'm going to ring that, do a connect of one, and uh, slide it towards the bottom a little bit. That doesn't look good. I don't think I connected it very well. I didn't. All right, ring select that and connect it and slide it towards the bottom about, let's say, negative 60. All right, and just delete this. I'm going to take these two edges and um, bridge them. And bridge that. Could have just capped it, but I'm just going to bridge it. There we go. <clears throat> and now I am going to. I'm going to select the edges all the way around I did this a lot faster but that gnat totally killed my concentration on this thing <laughs> I think he's plotting something against me I think I see him in the corner alright so I'm going to chamfer this just a little Get in here with my vertices right here and merge those, or weld them, whatever you want to call them, whatever package you're coming from. Weld these. Alright, look at F4. That looks pretty good. I'm not going to chamfer the back side of it. Alright, so I'm going to take this, I'm going to call it Dresser uh, Drawer 01. Alright, and then I'm going to. Uh, Let's see, let's mirror it, uh, copy, on the Z, I think it is, mm -hmm. on the Z axis, and bring it up a little closer, I want to look at this, yeah, okay. I should probably put lines through here so it looks like there's actually drawers in there, but I don't know. Let's see if I can get away with it first. I'm going to take those. Click OK. And have that. F4. <coughs> because right now, as it stands, if you look at it, you pull the drawer out there should be another line that goes through here just like that but that would add more polygons and if you go like this the texture in there you are sure not to notice that at all so that's up to you if you want to actually take this and separate it so that it has lines going down through the middle here you can do that as well um, you could also do that with the texture you know, just put a little line through there to make it seem as though it's a gap. Um, so that's the dresser. I like that. And did I name this? No, I didn't. I'll call it dresser. Like so. I'm going to tape these tapes, select them all, and delete them. And then I'm going to group this. Group it. And call it dresser underscore group and just like that we have a dresser <clears throat> I'm gonna shift drag it across here 
and I'm going to see if scaling it will make this look bad. Scale it this way, something like that, and put it side by side with it, and we're going to see if that actually made it look bad. I think we can probably get away with that. Looks basically the same. Yeah, I'm just going to use that. And while I'm here, I'm just going to do one more thing. I'm actually going to take. Um, this and open it. Shift drag up a copy. Call it mirror. Call it dresser mirror. And um, let's. Um, I will keep it in the same group for now. Okay, I'm going to lower it. And we'll go back to here. Close this. This mirror is the same, but it's a quarter in depth, or one inch and a quarter in depth, 19 high. All right. So with that, I need a tape measure. 19 inches from here to here. I can take this, select these vertices, and bring it down. And this way, I can just guess this. I'll just put it about like like so. That should work. Alright, just like that. And this is a mirror, but what I'm going to do is take these vertices right here and slide them over like that. And I'm going to take another one two of them, like that. So now, just sitting on top of the dresser drawer are three mirrors. <coughs> Excuse me. And I don't know if I want it to be um, sitting exactly on top of it, but we can worry about that later. So let's close this group. Delete that. Um, yeah, we can leave that. All right, so let's save it. Save as four dot um, dressers dot max, and there we go. And in the next video, I think we're going to start putting um, together a, a lamp uh, for the side of the bed. So see you there.